Hey there guys, this is a video for all of you having issues with Starbound and the FPS drops. Uh, this is running on a Windows machine. My specs aren't that great, but they're not god awful. I can play Terraria really, really smoothly. And seeing as Starbound's just come out in beta, there's a few issues. And this is a fix that I've seen a lot of people have, and myself, it fixed within minutes, and it's really not that difficult. So if you have a bit of uh, technical knowledge, there's a description, uh, well, there's instructions in the description, which you should be easy to follow. If not so much, and you want a bit of help with it, Hopefully this video will help you navigate to where you're supposed to be going and what you're supposed to do. So my Steam library is set up onto multiple drives. I have uh, my G and my F drive, I think it is, uh, with different kinds of games and all that kind of stuff on. So what I've done is I've opened up Steam and I've tried to play Starbound and I'm getting stupid FPS drop and I can't do anything. Every now and again it'll be fine but then I'll just get these stupid lag spikes and I won't be able to do anything the game will crash and then I'll get a runtime error. Now the runtime errors is something completely different however I haven't had any since doing this fix. So to start off we need to navigate to where our game is. Um, for myself there is a different drive so at the moment I'm on my G drive inside the folders games then it'll be Steam Apps, Common, Starbound, Windows 32, Launcher um, other ones would be something along the lines of Program Files then then we'll find Steam we'll scroll down until we find Steam Apps, this is your normal one, this is your local C drive then we'll go into Common and then you would have Starbound in here and you would follow the, a very similar path so if I move back into here Steam Library, Steam Apps common, wrong one wrong one, <laughs> there we are starbound and then we'll obviously just go into Windows 32 launcher and you have this one here with the penguin now these are all your config files so you don't really need to touch any of this um, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click navigate over here go all the way down to properties up to compatibility. Now all of these should be unticked uh, if you're running on Windows 7 that is. If not, if you're running on XP or Vista, I think you need the latest uh, service pack and then you would run it for the next machine up that you can. If not, you uh, keep all of these unchecked apart from run this program as an administrator. Click OK. And that's that one done. Uh, now we can just minimize that go into Starbound on your Steam library and click play and you'll come up with this little user account control which some machines have turned off, I have it turned off on my work machine and stuff like that and basically what this is doing is making sure you have permission to uh, load up this game so now we have the launcher which is pretty standard normal, like, normal uh, same as it was before and this time around we just want to do launch Starbound and this is the time that I usually get my biggest FPS drop um, I usually lag out <laughs> and freeze so hopefully it won't be too bad I've got my game set to 1280 by 720 and windowed mode because that's how I like to record uh, see it's got not responding so I'll move that up there there we go and now we've got no FPS drop I'm moving my mouse in game it's pretty fine Got to single player, click on my random character Danger Twinkles. See if this uh has any more problems. But for me, as far as I've seen, I've not had any FPS problems. Um it's been quite smooth. There we go. Whereas before I would be like stutter 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 stutter. I'm now pretty smooth in running around. Uh I mean if I do animations like this and then I'm fine. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, hope it helps. Uh, if you've got any questions, just post them in the description and hopefully I'll be able to, to get back to you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.